Okay, so we should be right now on the game. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What do we have on the hand? Um, Red Scare Purge, Indo Pack War, Marshall Plan. It's a fun hand to see as a US. You got the two four ops. Um, Korean War is nice. Yeah, Korea War. What is the what's the headline here? Just Red Scare Purge? I don't know. I I don't. I would think maybe Marshall setup. I don't know what he'll what he's gonna do. Oh, Metallic is playing uh, USA. Okay, all right. Never yeah. mind. I was like, I was like thinking for one second that we were on the USSR side. Okay, so mm. I mean, Red Scare Purge is really, really tempting because it reduces the the spread that the USSR can can do and the the virulence of the coups. Let's but again, Marshall here. Plan is is juicy. It's insta domination. But I would say he doesn't have socialist governments, so. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth the Marshall plans because well, if you get cooled in Italy, I mean, well, ideally, even after, yeah, we see a Marshall setup. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's going yeah, for Marshall it. Marshall setup. Yeah, because if socialist governments does get headlined, um, you're still looking at a fifty-fifty chance, you know, going down to Italy. Well, the good thing about that is, even if, like you said, if there is socialist governments. At least you have the position in France, so you have a little bit of better chance of fighting it if the coup is not completely successful. Yeah, and also there's basically no way you're ever going to get uh, dominated with your influence in Canada, Spain, Turkey. Sure. Like it's just not going to happen. Absolutely. I mean, Marshall Plan is probably one of the best headlines to play, along with maybe Middle East scoring. But you know, those I, I just like the four ups, man. I don't know. Yes, the stream is delayed. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I see Matthew asking in the chest. It's delayed by 10 minutes. Well, I actually changed it to 5, but program. I didn't say oh. anything to the players, so they don't know. But 5 minutes oh, okay. should be more than enough, anyway. Alright, alright. Uh, because... He's, uh, Michael is deafened and muted, right? Yeah, he is. Alright. So he doesn't, he doesn't hear the uh, very little secret that it's only 5 minutes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so obviously Marshall Plan auto headline. Yeah, um, I mean, the big downside to me for Marshall Plan is now you're giving the USSR a free window to headline Decol or Vietnam or anything they want, basically, and not yep. they can't really fear defectors. Yep, absolutely. So they're gonna go with a sledgehammer, of course. Like sometimes you, especially on the, more on the second on the on the second turn than on the first turn, but for sure USSR has to be careful with the factors unless they have it in hand yeah so swiss prices okay, so he didn't eight. go for canada he decided to overprotect uk that's uh i mean it's preferably i i think uk is definitely standard especially with uh obviously he can see suez being headlined mm -hmm. um yeah usually i see like instead of greece you might see canada but honestly it rarely ever matters it's just another op in a non-battleground yeah I have the I have the feeling that Greece it's more priority than Canada since Canada at the end like the USSR doesn't really have a chance to get there. Right, Can it, Canada is more about just decreasing like the the opportunity cost of NORAD. Yeah, but sorry. I mean it just nowadays NORAD everybody just avoids it as much as they can, which I think is a correct play because it can be just ridiculous. It's really really annoying. Against, it's really yeah. really annoying. Those if you get to do those AR six place they can do insane flips yeah okay so we see swiss crisis on the ussr side so i wonder if we see an iran coup and yeah and try to completely knock the us out yep. oh okay. don't, it, that knows, I, see, I guess he doesn't have a four up he went with a three uh yeah i would assume that he doesn't have a four up so there um, are three, three four ups left make yep um and now the Suez kind of backfires because with a three up here, I would think maybe Warsaw, he can fill France and play one into Iraq potentially, or use a four up and play into Iraq and Pakistan. He has some options. I, I, do, I do think he should fill France. At DEFCON 4, I like a lot. Uh, 
Afghanistan and Malaysia. But Afghanistan and Malaysia. Yeah. I, I, yeah, Afghanistan, Malaysia. I don't know. Or maybe even Pakistan, Pakistan Matthew, Malaysia. So if he yeah. goes Pakistan, you get Malaysia. Because uh, I would think Pakistan Thailand. here. Sorry, I would think Pakistan here is natural because first of all, you have Indo-Pak war, and second of all, Matthew kind of showed that he doesn't have a four ops, right? Yep. With uh, so I, I doubt Matthew would coup Pakistan anyways. So I feel like Pakistan is a safe play here if he wants to do. I, I'm sure right now what he's thinking about is whether Matthew has Europe scoring or not. Yep. Because he has to decide how much of a priority filling France is. Well, I, I think filling France is like a, a no-brainer. Because if you put Marshall Plan and you let the USSR score Europe for uh, nothing, that's yeah, that, that that's sucks. a waste. So I yeah. think Red Scare is going to go two for France to fill it. And then what is he doing with the other two points? He's either filling Pakistan or yeah, yeah pa Pakistan, Pakistan, Malaysia. Malaysia. He went with my play. Uh, you're giving up an easy coup on Pakistan, but again, that's just dropping the death con, letting you walk into Thailand and completely uh, control the Southeast Asia region. Yeah, and it, oh no, he takes it back. Because he also has indo pak war. What I'm concerned about, though, with the... Yeah, that, that's what I was just going to point out, that he's going to get knocked out of the Middle East with a... Another with Iran coup. coup. Okay, so he's not filling France. Risky business. Risky, risky business, like you said. I, yeah. I don't know if I like this. I mean, maybe maybe you can take the risk and just put Malaysia, Malaysia, yeah. Iraq, two in France. But then... Okay, you know what I would think? I would think to ditch Malaysia because I don't think Matthew has Vietnam or Deco because I think either of those are better headlines than Suez Crisis, especially with the Marshall setup. So I would go Pakistan, Iraq, and two in France. That's what I would think might be the play here. Because Suez headline, I think that, that indicates that you can delay playing into Malaysia by one turn, maybe. Yeah, yeah oh. you're right. He he definitely likes the... Okay, he's he's giving up on the Europe. He, if if uh, USSR has Europe, he's going to drop immediately. Well, maybe that's what... Maybe that's what... Uh, what Michael's thinking, that... Matthew doesn't have Europe because if he did have it, he would play it AR1, which I can see as a reasonable line of thought. Hmm. Give up the first coup for the... Well, for actually... Five, for five BPs. I mean, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's an sounds, okay trade. Not only that, but also uh, at the beginning of the game, the US the US has really bad coup targets. Like, you don't exactly. really... You cannot really coup anything. So, yeah, it's just the US allowing the US to spread from Iran, basically, is what you're giving up. But, I mean, it is what it is kind of thing. Like, I, I think that's a pretty decent play. Especially mm -hmm. with Marshall, where you know you're just going to get dominated. Um, yeah, Michael it's... is as indecisive as we are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, arguing about the possible plays, but he's arguing with, his, with himself, for sure. A Romanian abdication, save that for <laughs> later, man. <laughs> <laughs> Romanian yeah, I, abdication I feel... play. Yeah, no, no, he's not playing Romania. I, I still think RSP to France, Iraq, yeah. and Pakistan. I think that's correct. Yeah. Okay, like we both agree on on the France play. Like you cannot just let that s a squeeze. Okay, he's gonna go again for my original thought. Gonna. Okay, this isn't that bad because what I realize now is that even if um, Matthew coups Iran again, he can get in through uh, Syria. through Syria from yeah. Turkey. So it's not the worst. Like you're not uh, getting completely locked I mean, out of it. I it's it's a long walk from Syria, from Turkey all the way to Egypt and Libya. But yeah, that's true. But it is what it is. At least you won't. The the fear is not getting presents, right? Because then you lose those three yeah. uh, three VPs. Also, he always get the counter coup in Iran if it's not a super coup, you know. And we know he doesn't have a four, so he must he will yeah. be queuing with a maximum of three. Correct. I mean, it's a it's a five difficulty to wipe him out. So it's a, a two will wipe him out. A three will put one, four, five, yeah. or six is control. I don't know. It's kind of tight, but he went for it. Now. No, I think I think it's a good play. Um, if I'm Matthew, though, I think I still want to. I don't know. Do you clear in? Because you don't want to drop Defcon either. It's a tough decision, and he's kind of trapped because he can't coup Pakistan. Because if he does, he walks right into Indo Pak War. Okay, he's going with a coup. I'm not going to cover coup for Pakistan. Oh, 
Oh, that that one, hurts. That yeah, hurts. one short. He needed a three there, and that would have been a great play. But uh, yikes. Yep. Absolutely. And now I think. Oh, he's placing influence. Okay. Okay. So I, yeah, I, he, I would... he he was in between the two plays, right? Like you said, it's Iraq, Malaysia, and Pakistan. What what do I do? And now yeah. he has another chance. So. No, Defcon's at three now. Even if Iran gets cooed, it doesn't matter. You're in Iraq. Yep. And he doesn't need to coup for Milops because he has Indo Pak War, which he can yep. just event. And, you know, if you win, that's a that's four VPs right there. Yep, absolutely. And, like, I mean, if you, if I had, I'm on a, if I am on a situation and we, which I have Indo Pak, and I'm controlling Pakistan and India in early war, I sometimes try to hold it. In this, in this case, he has an intervention that is just better. But, you know, trying to prevent the indo -Pak from flipping you in the middle of the, on the mid-war, I sometimes appealing. I don't know. Right. So, Matthew takes a step towards Pakistan. Um, over controls to protect against the threat of a China card. Yep. He doesn't want, yes. doesn't want to get flipped. He doesn't care for the China card. He just wants the. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He, he he's he's baiting there I the China card. I think I might like that play better, because you don't you're not worried about the China card because you have Indo Pak War. Like I would be, you would be happy if he played the China card, right? And you are a 50-50 um, shot to, to get the China card and get Pakistan. Yeah, Romania. I mean, yeah, you got to use your one up somewhere. I mean, this isn't a bad spot, especially because it's not like. Like if Matthew, for example, had secured presence in Middle East, then then I'd be a little scared. All right, I want I don't want to get locked out of those VPs, but I think I like this play. See, he's 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 taunting there, he's saying use that China car. You know you want yeah. it. Yeah. But that that might that might read for uh, Matt Mathieu that that he has in the pack in hand, if he does that. It's possible. Okay, he's going for the oh, Iraq coup. coup. Interesting. Iran I mean, coup. If he does that, he might mm. kick him out of that. This is a very risky play. Well, uh, I don't know how risky it is, it's, actually. Uh, I mean, anything, If you roll a 1, you can still Indo pack him out, but... It's everything yeah. but a 1, you kick him out of there, but he can walk right in. So it's a 3 or better to get control of it. I just, I just kind of don't see the point of a coup. I think placing influence is, is better here, especially like you need to spread quickly, right? You yep. want to spread through Asia, try to get domination actually, because you're set up for it. Yep. Or even play, play Korean War, right? Or make a decision either fill Korea and space Korean War, um, or you know play Korean War, hope he fails and take it. I normally like to get rid of Korea War, but in this case, he doesn't have anything else to space. And those, yeah, and those sweet space two one, is, yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially off, like you know, Matthew could have CNS here, um, capture Nazi scientists. You wanna, yeah. if you get space before CNS comes out, that's pretty solid. So far, I think this is very, very good for Michael. He's got the Europe domination. He's looking really solid in Asia. He'll probably end up behind in Middle East, but it's not the end of the world. He At least he secured presence, and he secured at least one battleground there. Hmm. The thing is, that domination in Asia is it's so easy at this point for him. Like, he has all the advantage. Yep. Just three ops here. Warsaw to Pakistan and Thailand is a domination. And you control Korea War, so you know that... Okay, he's going for the coup. So he does coup. Okay, interesting. Interesting. The it's, thing uh, is, he just it's kicked him out, that's guess. it. Yeah, I he mean... kicked him out. Um, he gets his middle ops, so he can play Indo Pak for ops now, I guess. That works. Warsaw probably goes to Poland, to East Germany, one maybe... Austria, I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, will he feel Yugoslav? Probably not, because independent Reds. 
He probably yeah, just and, wanting to check out and, Slovakia or something like that. Yeah, it's just not off sufficient with the you know since the U.S. has Spain, Greece, Turkey. Like you're just you're not gonna stop your domination. Uh, I was thinking just on uh, Truman, right? But again, if 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 independent threats come out, you're basically giving out three ops for free. Yeah, like so. this is a situation where like. As the USSR, I think you ignore Europe unless you get, you know, if you get De Gaulle, headline it, take France. Um, other than that, you know, use your ops in Asia and uh, Middle East. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think there's much you can do there. I mean, overprotecting your two battlegrounds, making sure that when that uh, Pope comes out and solidarity might come out later as well, don't hurt you and you don't get the threat of, domi of control. But as long as, as long as you have those at six or even seven later with Comic Con, you're good. Mm -hmm. Matthew is uh, taking a while here. I wonder. I'm starting to suspect maybe destalinization. He does fill Yugoslavia, and we get Arab-Israeli war. Okay, interesting. Just continues to spread. Not controlling any countries, but securing his access everywhere. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't want to play Romanian abdication because that gives uh, a okay, doubles Pakistan. Huh. Yeah, you don't want to play he Romanian actually... because that that stops your uh, your domination. You want to play Romanian and you want to take uh, Spain right away. Yep. He also he actually failed Yugoslavia, so he is not scared of those independent rats. Maybe he's yeah. gonna space them. I don't know. I mean, I, well, I as soon as Romanian. This. Okay, we see. Is this a Matthew U.S. Japan? Okay. Yep. That's interesting because that means he did save a four op and he didn't use it for his opening coup. Well, maybe he was expecting Korea War or something like that. You normally don't want to pl play it immediately un unless you have to because of that, right? You want the Korea War to be successful so you can. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how Matthew has made this read of uh, of uh, Michael not having Asia scoring, but it's a good read because he doesn't. But that's a, otherwise a risky play to uh, fill Japan. Yep. He basically gives the inside domination. Yeah. I guess he's figuring if he wants to dominate, he can do it anyways, right? Just take Thailand. So might as well yep. fill Japan also, which is a fair assessment. Okay. And now you. Okay. He's gonna use your intervention. Okay. Korean War. Ensuring uh, that, that domination. That's kind of a weird play to me. Because I think you already have domination. Oh, okay. Mm. Well. Doesn't he want to play Indonesia first? Like, just so so the... I don't know. No, I, 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 think, no, no. I think you definitely take Thailand first. Well, yeah, I because... mean, sorry. Yeah, for sure. Once you take Thailand, but... I, I, if I'm in his position right now... I'm not. I'm as long as I'm a presence in Middle East, I'm all good. You know, I'm dominating Europe. Exactly. Just yep. get the presence in Middle East, and then focus on getting that Southeast Asia area all covered. So when the D D call comes out, it doesn't completely screw you. Yes, but the problem is he can't do both here. Either he takes Thailand, hmm. or he. Uh, let me see a space. Hmm. Okay. A failure. Okay. Good news for yep. uh, Michael. News I for think Michael. you have to take screen here with AR6. Yep. Okay, so we move to turn two. So now the risk for uh, for Michael is that he did not fill Thailand. So Vietnam, Deco, uh, Deestal. Oh, Deco and Deestal for for Michael. That's amazing. Yep. That's, uh, Michael that's had both D cards. Yeah. So one is gonna be a shot to space, and the other one's gonna be hold unless. Uh, and I think I think he can headline Asia scoring here safely because Vietnam Revolt does not get the job done. Ooh, but he has also blockade. So he's gonna have to discard this tile. Right, yeah. He dis he discards this tile to blockade and he spaces uh spaces deco. It's I mean, sure there's a chance of them coming back in the reshuffle, but yeah, Asia scoring is a hundred percent safe scoring. I I think there's nothing that can stop it. Yeah, because the war is already gone. Yeah, Vietnam doesn't stop it. Well nice, very nicely done. Yep. And seven VPs with Europe to come. It's a great situation for the U.S. Thanks to Drawdown78 for the follow. 
Okay, so the U.S. gets ahead with that double domination in early war. In, in the early war, that is. Okay, and Matthew throws Thailand away and opts for Panama, which is, I guess, a, a reasonable play now that the scoring is out. I mean, he... yeah, he's got to retake Thailand. He has to be thinking now. But I think he's giving away too much, isn't he? Like. Asia and Europe are the two biggest scoring regions. Well, if he takes Thailand there... He takes he Thailand, South Korea, he, he makes sure he doesn't get dominated. He gives up a coup in what, Libya, I guess? There are no amazing coup targets for the U.S. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It, also, we don't know, we don't know Matthew's hand either. He yeah. could have other ideas. I mean, he probably wants that domination in Middle East for sure, right? He probably wants yeah. to secure that one. And he basically yeah. have it secure, like, unless um, Michael spends an insane amount of ops to get Iraq and Saudi Arabia. Oh, Michael basically has one op or two usable ops this turn because Socialist is an empty AR, Deco is an empty AR, uh, Blockade, Nasa Nasa plays against one you. Op. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a tough hand. Um, ooh, and big ooh. cards coming out for okay. Matthew. So we see four of them already, right? We have one four up left. Uh, yeah, we're still waiting on Nuka Tespan. nuclear chess band, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm Come not counting the three. cards, but that's the one I, on the top of my head that I haven't seen yet. Gets rid of D-Stell, plays into Laos. I would think about maybe, I don't know, climbing a ladder to Angola Zaire, maybe wait until turn three so you don't get cooed. Maybe drop one into India so that Indo Pak war means you still have access there. Yep. How oh, can we see Captain Nazi okay. Scientist? Yeah, see, that's. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, I feel like spacing Deco and then pulling into Laos with blockade might have been better. But uh, hey, I mean, hindsight's 20 20. Because yeah. Uh, then, yeah, because then actually maybe Laos was the correct play because if Matthew gets into Laos, he can climb to India and, you know, uh, Michael has no ops really to prevent it. I think the Laos play, I think it's good. I, I like to do, that, do the, the the block there, so we make we yeah. make sure that. I mean, I, he played uh, Vietnam Revolt, so he could use a two up and flip it, but you know. Yeah, no, it, I, I definitely it's a reasonable play. It's just one up and force him to use a two or a three, right? So. Yeah, I like resolving it. Resolve socialist first and keep and your ops in your back pocket. Yeah. If he decides to go for something like UK or something like that, which I doubt, but if, if or maybe Turkey, maybe you can, if you really need the op, you can use it somewhere else. Well, whatever it is, I think he should replace here because um, he doesn't know, right? Uh, Matthew could have Europe scoring. Yep. Actually, one possibility for Matthew is five-year plan. Uh, we haven't seen five-year plan yet, so who knows? He could hold a five-year plan plus uh, Europe, which would be an amazing combo for him yep. because if not, he's going to be down... Nine VP is what it looks like, accounting for Milops. See, I agree. We're we'll probably back on the deck. Yep, definitely. Yeah, like I guess so. Said, he did flip Laos. Yep. But now he cannot. Right. He cannot prevent him from Malaysia. Interesting. I would think. Oh, okay, he has to go Malaysia to keep uh the count. to keep domination. Yeah. yeah. But hmm. I think maybe India. The thing is, he doesn't have the ops to... to... Okay, you know, France to protect from De Gaulle is a fair play. Um, wonder what Ma Matthew has. Michaels really hopes he doesn't see five-year plan here, because that would suck. Yep. He's put all the eggs on the basket there in Europe. And... Oh! There it is. Oh no! Oh no! Oof, that's a, this is a blow. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Michael. Yep. Feel bad for him. He's, he's been, he played for Europe really strongly and... Okay, but uh, the nice thing is it did happen in turn two instead of turn three. Yep. So at least, at least he'll get it back yep. in turn. Oh he'll get it back before uh, turn Move seven for sure. Of the dark chamber of Absolutely. Horror. And he okay. gets all there of them is. back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this could be a really quick game. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, because Europe 5, Asia 5. I think you headline Asia again, right? Because the only card that can stop you... Oh, wait. Wait, but you have, you have that deck on cover there. And that's 3 BPs for free. Dang, eh? Yeah, but... Hmm. And he cannot, mm -hmm. he cannot insta-dominate Asia, so you can just slam in next turn, right? He's four What's and... Containment? Containment is only three ops. Containment doesn't make sense yeah. for three scoring cards. I think Dagon Cover is the best headline here. Unless he wants to put one of the scoring cards. But Deagle, Deagle could be back and that would screw him in Asia. So he had to be Europe, right? And also, so the important thing also is that Defectors has not... Oh, he just takes it? Nice. So the Very nice. Yeah, Very he, nice. Dodged, he dodged a bullet. He grabs those five VPs and he he can fill Europe with no problem, uh, because he has Truman. Even if Matthew dumps a four up here, he which he won't, because Matthew knows that uh, uh, he has Michael Truman. Has Truman. For sure. Yep. And I think this headline also means that uh, Matthew does not have decal, because my we know that uh, Matthew has defectors, right? Yeah, there we go. So decal would have been a free headline. Influence. Where are we seeing influence? Algeria. Algeria. It's kind of an interesting play. He gives up the coup. I mean, he knows that he's gonna fight for Euro. I think he was just trying to taunt him into headlining Europe and try to. See. Yeah. But again, he knew that he had the goal, so. Yeah, well, this is getting scary because Europe takes it to 15. Uh, the two mil ops might take it to 17. Sure, Middle East will drag it back a bit. He, but he can even fight for Middle East. He just succeeded on the yep. coup in Libya. Absolutely. I mean, uh... that if he controls Iraq, then the pressure is on. And Mathieu to take Israel. And yeah, I think Matthew's, he's, he's Matthew's going, going for to take Iraq, Iraq right now. Oh, oh, oh no. My God, what's he doing? Did he miscount? Because I think he has to know that uh, that Michael's holding Truman, right? I mean, he has to. They, we haven't seen it. So if he's counting cards, he knows that. There he goes. Oh, that's, oh, a, that's a bad play. Yeah, that's yeah. a mistake on his part. That's tough. I mean, that containment could be control of Iraq. I mean, mm. he cannot really he has dominate. Some options here. Yeah, he cannot really dominate. I would dominate. think, I think he would be happy with playing Middle East as soon as possible. Um, for most and spacing, yeah, he's it. Okay. He does succeed, so he climbs back a bit. I, I think he's he playing Middle East here. The only one that he actually knows is Middle East. Yeah, he doesn't know about Europe. Correct. I think you gotta play Middle East here. Yeah. And now I would also think about maybe spacing D style. Or do you want to UN it? I don't know. They're both they're both acceptable plays, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So Matthew's just, I mean, he's he's doing the correct thing here because he's so far behind on VPs. He needs he needs to do well in the space race. He's currently down 15. Um, Arab is really war is the only thing that can give him some uh, some milops here. Oh, oh okay. here in the is. back. Uh, there we go. This going probably for the 30 percent. Uh, well, I mean, the two the two VPs from the milops all of a sudden become really important because. <laughs> Holy, you're down 13. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. This is looking good for Michael. Very, very strong looking game. Good. Very good for Michael. What? I think he, oh, I, I know what he's doing. It's because there's a glitch in the game where he placed into Mexico and then he took it back, but the ops still show up on the board. So <laughs> I, I know exactly what he's doing there. Like, you have the option of holding containment here and headlining a next turn. Yep. Or you just play these six ops here, which isn't bad either. I almost I almost think the ops might be better here and go South Africa, Angola, Zaire, Mexico, fill up those mid-war battlegrounds. So you, so you think spacing... Uh, oh, you okay, okay, I get you, I get you. So you, yeah. you say spacing style, play UN for ops and hold containment, or yeah, but I UN think, intervention. I think, uh, I, think I might change my mind here. I think UN intervention D style to South Africa and Angola, and then containment to Zaire and Mexico. And then you're you're set up really nicely. I don't know. I I. No, he spaces. Yeah. So either he wants to hold containment or he wants to hold UN. Both are good choices. I mean, the thing the about getting with one into Angola is that like you're gonna get cool immediately next turn. There is no other option. There is no other target. So he's gonna. Well, that, well, well, that's why you have to go on to Zaire, right? Because yeah. then the coup happens in Zaire, and at least you got Angola, right? Yep. But now for sure, yeah, you're, he cannot play into Angola. Independent reg breaks Romania. No, oh, no, he gets yeah, India. Protect. Hasn't all, all three. I don't. I don't know how much I like this play. 
All three uh, mid-war regions have been scored, right? Yep. They were all scored yeah, right yeah, now. The early war, yeah. They're all being scored on turn three. Green so that means we're not gonna see... Yep. Five -year plan. Oh, oh my god. So he's he gonna deny five -year him. Plan as well. He's gonna deny him the ops this turn. Yeah. If Can he event five-year plan safely at DEFCON 2? Is there any card that Matthew could hold? Uh, five not plan. Dark and Cover's gone, right? Well, five-year plan does... Oh, triggers the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It only it only triggers U.S. events, so I think yeah. the only U.S. event he needs to fear is Deck and Cover, and that's in the discard. So he could theoretically go for the five-year five -year plan here, and then that would... Uh, that would oh. that would mean Defcon victory if uh, the space if is coming Matthew in clutch. Has, uh, CIA. Space is coming in really really clutch. Why I, is he playing? Why I is don't he think. Playing? Oh right, because Cuban Missile Crisis. Yep. I, I don't think he has to uh, look for a, a Defcon trap since he's like so far ahead. I think you can just play play the game, and I mean, he's 13 BPs ahead, and the the mid world regions are untouched. So, and his hand is yeah. looking pretty good, honestly. He has Cornell rear guards. That's gonna let him spread all over Africa. Yeah, he's thinking about removing Cuban Missile Crisis as well. I think that's a sound play. You gotta spread into the mid war battlegrounds. Hmm. Oh, and the you... two and end goal, I guess, is to stop. Uh, is this. he going for Mexico? So he might be able to get some points for Alaya for right, progress. Right. Your voice is cutting in and out. I'm just gonna switch Wi Fi networks. Give me a sec. Oh. Uh, Twitch chat. Uh, can you hear me well? Or is it uh, Hassan or is it me? Please type on the chat. Let me know. All right, testing, testing. We good? Yeah, I think I hear you well. Right. Yeah, no, no, now, now I hear you better. All right. Okay. So he's still deciding what to do with grain sales. Yep. Hmm. I mean, I know, he still has so a lot he, of time on the clock. He yeah, time. he's thinking to Angola because you know he wants to watch out for South African and Portuguese. Uh, which is which is good to be on the lookout for those. Mexico protect, protects against uh, liberation theology from taking Mexico immediately. Um, ABM would kind of screw him, but ABM screws you anyway, so yeah. you, you can't really. I mean, I don't like really as a there. US as a US. I rarely go into uh, Mexico, uh, like initially, because of it basically giving him a coup, right? But I don't know. I think in this situation at with Cuban Missile Crisis being the headline, I think it's justifiable. I'm sure also Michael is thinking of getting one into Turkey, so he can quickly remove uh, quickly remove um, Cuban Missile Crisis if he needs to. Because uh, mo removing from West Germany is just kind of annoying. Yeah. You don't want to let those Soviets poke into your West Germany. Yeah. I still, I still think that Michael should consider a five-year plan event. Because Matthew could have CIA here. We saw it turn two, hmm. um, and UN intervention is in uh, is in hand here. He still had the There's China guard, so he could just play the China guard and avoid the trap. He can't. He can't because Green Seals already reduced his hand size by oh, one. That is true. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, so five year plan would leave him would leave him a little bit stuck. He also has how I learned to stop worrying, so he can stop salt. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I would consider it. Yeah, it's a it's a it. solid death contract, but. Like I said, I think giving his position, he doesn't need it. If he was on a, yeah. if he was like losing, I would hundred percent try it. For sure, for sure. The flip side of that is, yeah, again, he has kitchen debates in hand. That's two VPs. Um, how I learned to stop worrying could be a five VP play. Yep. If Absolutely. There are no coups. If there I are was, no coups this turn. I was thinking about that. Like he could basically win just by. If he's able to get an oof. Oh my God, three on Colombia. <laughs> Yeah. He's going to coup so, 100%. He's got to remove Cuban Missile yeah. Crisis from West Germany, and he's got a coup. Okay. That's okay, an o not good enough. An okay roll. He's going to get coup immediately back. 
Yeah, he's gonna get good back for sure. So the how I learned to stop reading play isn't gonna work because both these guys are gonna rack up me lots. Yep. I actually like uh, that plan, man. Like that the sneaky uh five BP. Yeah. It usually only works early on when neither players have influence in uh in non battlegrounds in the mid war because otherwise oh beautiful. Okay. But the thing is, right now there is there was no influence on non non battleground, so that was almost as a US. Uh, it's did, almost. Uh, he did what I he did yep. what I said to do. Okay, he's so going for let's it. see. And Norad's a great card to draw here, regardless. Yep. I mean, he can steal Canada and uh, and rock yep. Norad and kill Quagmire. The himself. thing is, he has kitchen debates as well, so he could have won just by five plus two from kitchen debates. Oh no, that'd be seven. That'd be nineteen. Oh yikes. yeah. Alliance for progress. Alliance for progress. One BP. <laughs> in our in our dream scenario. Yeah. But, uh, but OP. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, think... that that was a. I think that was a legit line of play. Like he could actually do it. He could I... have, but I mean, but the Cuban Missile Crisis. You knew immediately that Matthew was going to Colombia. Hmm. I mean, the only thing that screwed him is if if there is a scoring car on or some way to get BPs on uh, I the think South hand. America. South America scoring might, like yeah. Matthew's play might signal South America scoring. Yeah, absolutely. But still, Michael is way better here. Yeah, um, I mean, way, yeah, for way, sure. Way like better. that, that was kind of wonky, but it was it was fun too. Yes, big China it. card gets played. Okay. I mean, yeah. uh, for all yeah. we know, the game could be over, and he could be holding. Um, yep. He could be holding. Uh, what's it called? CIA. So. Yep. Uh, are there any other two op cards? No, grain sales. He just played. Because he can't even space uh, two op US cards anymore. You're an intervention I end here? A space bird trap? Okay, so that means he, he's safe. He doesn't have a CIA. Because if he had CIA, he could have gotten out of it by playing bear trap AR6 and then having nothing to discard AR7. Oh, oh that's interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah, so the bear trap space uh, means that Matt, the game's not over. At least it should mean it would be a huge blunder if he well, didn't have he, he'll have he'll have uh two back to back ARs, right? Uh no. No, because, because he played uh, he played China. Yeah, he'll have he'll have enough ARs. Okay. OPEC is an important event. Okay, so wow, he he, yeah. he shortened that distance. Yeah. No, it's it's super important. Hey, the game's far from over, especially with South America how it is. Um I mean you never know. So he UNs Allende, uh, right? Yep. Allende. Allende. There you go. Uh, so prepping okay. for Southeast Asia scoring. And then Strong you're, you're position in Africa. But he needs to get Botswana probably or maybe uh, Tunisia. Ivory Coast works as well. Actually kind of better to prevent the realignment. Maybe even Saharan states plus something else like Zimbabwe. Cameroon. Yep. That's, yeah, because that threatens the real line on Algeria. So Aslan gets played, and he's got nothing to discard. So another so stroke free. of luck. Or uh, okay. I think he's gonna cool Uruguay here just to get yeah, the presence. I think you have to discard Uruguay. Uh, sorry, not discard. Coup. Yeah. Oh. And he fails. Wow. Yeah. So board setting up pretty nicely. For, yeah. Things uh, like Matias coming back to the game. Oh my God! Three scoring cards. Ah. Oh. Okay. Like at least Africa scoring card is gonna be four points. But that's South Africa America. Scoring card could be big points with nuclear subs in hand also. Uh he has salt negotiations, right? Can he bring anything back that gives him VPs? That brings him give me BBs. I mean he's not he will have to I mean he cannot win right now, right? He'll have to control Africa to be able to win. With right, resistance. well, nu nuclear subs lets you control Africa. And then if you salt for, uh, I don't know, what could you salt for? If you salt for duck and cover, and, mm -hmm. you know, salt brings it up to duck and cover is, I don't know, it's kind of close. Three BPs, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Three BPs know if it plus eight on Africa. Thing is, it's very risky because if it doesn't work, then at the end of the turn, you have to play South America and you have to play Central America, right? Yeah, and you're going to get. And so then. You probably you're going to. I mean, that. Oof. Yeah, it's tough. I think maybe Kuh Uruguay is safer than going for that line of play. Yeah, probably. Probably. I don't think he needs to take such a drastic risk here when he's up. Well, he, he, I mean, he's going to dominate Africa probably. Even maybe a uh, 
lucky realignment in Argelia give you give you the give you the control. Yeah. I'm kind of. I don't know why one small step was headlined here over nuclear subs. I feel like nuclear subs is a much stronger headline. Oh, we see ABM treaty. Oh boy. So that's probably going for Angola. Or maybe Mexico. Or oh. I don't think Mexico. He probably won't control both regions. No, the ops is an excellent play. And he gets rid of Oh CIA. my god, oh, yeah. One one turn, like just in time, you know. Look a junta oh. there. Oh, Voice of America in his hand. Voice Come. of America is gonna be annoying. Did he have any oh Michael, come on, give us some time to look at it. <laughs> yeah, um, man. Voice of America, he's gonna have to play because uh again he doesn't have any um he, he cannot space it. He could hold it, but what else he has in hand that yeah. is problematic? I think no, he might be able to hold it. Yeah. So Michael should uh yeah, and he can hold it and if he can get to space six then he can discard at the end of his turn. Uh yeah, he coos Laos. I think that's uh... wait, did he coo Laos? I don't know if it was a coup of a real I, mean, I, I I was not paying attention, I was looking at the tweet chat. Okay. I'm not sure what just happened, but whatever he did, he didn't uh decrease death. Uh, yeah, I mean it was uh okay. So now he gets a coup, yeah. right? On his turn. Yeah. He's gonna go yeah. for Argentina. Yeah, absolutely. And he succeeds. Okay. Why does he use the China oh, okay, he uses the China yeah, card so to revolution. Cultural revolution scot free. Yeah. Okay, this is a very good situation for um for Michael because now he can very likely play South America at zero and play Africa for Oh, I forgot about Junta. Uh, oh Jesus. Very nice. Okay, so, so now, what do you do? now he has do you to play South Uruguay? America, do you... I don't know. I feel like maybe Good. Create threats. I like it. Yeah, but if he, if he does that, he gets coup out of Saharan states and his position in Nigeria is going to be unmovable, right? But but he can play Africa scoring on his very next AR and there's nothing that uh, Matthew can do to stop his domination. That's true. Fair enough. Because it'll be, yeah, 4-3. to three. But you can kiss your, your control in Africa goodbye and then you have, you are basically have, uh, you're in the same position in a couple AR later on South America. Which so I don't know. Cool. Ooh. And, you gotta okay. play Africa right away. But what's gonna hurt now is Matthew should fill uh, South America and he's gonna get it for 10 VPs. <sighs> did we see, where did Fidel go? Uh, Fidel he played it, right? Earlier in the, in the early war. Okay, so it should come back, but it might not be here yet. So we see John Paul. Uh, I think Warsaw was played earlier, so... Poland should still be protected. Yeah, Warsaw was Warsaw was played earlier. Like, do you salt oh. here? Do you play nuclear subs and take two coups with salt negotiation and cultural revolution, maybe? No, you can get like, ABM. I, I mean... You can salt for ABM. I feel like salt for ABM, you might as well just event nuclear subs and then coup with salt negotiations. Cause it's going to be the same thing, right? Yep. Or, or cultural minus. revolution or salt negotiations. You could yeah. keep salt negotiations just in case. But the problem is maybe... the tempo, right? I mean, you lose tempo on both. But... Yeah. I like event nuclear. Maybe play Central America first and get rid of it. And and forget about that headache. Play Central America, play nuclear subs, and then. How many goods do you have? If you. It's a, you have five, six. No, not even. You have only five. You have one coup. So I guess, oh, yeah. You have one coup. Correct. Yeah, because. Correct, correct. So, yeah, then I don't know. Yeah, because he played the China card, right? Oh, yeah, Riston J is asking, the bug you all talked about earlier, are they going to patch it soon? What do you think, Hassan? Are they going to patch it soon? Uh, it's been <laughs> in the game for a while. <laughs> I'm um, just joking. They never patch anything, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, they like patching yeah, things. That's a, they don't, that's a good they don't patch. They don't patch much, but um, hey. I don't okay. know, maybe the ITSL will attract enough attention that Playdeck will start, you know, paying it. Hey, they, hey, they're sponsoring the tournament, so we cannot exactly. say, we cannot complain. We got some love from Playdeck. Fidel for the event, oof, what a play. Oh, man. That's, we were that's talking about a possible, right yeah. we were talking about a possible, uh, like, 20 VP finish in turn four, and now, what a Yeah, one job, turn later, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
He's gonna he he should play into high T and uh and Nicaro and take uh take domination here for five VPs. Yep. It's five VPs? No, I think it's four VPs. I, I think he should have taken the loss here on that that realignment out up plus zero on Cuba. It was kind of a long shot to actually wipe him out. Yeah, you gotta go in the car one high deep. There's no yeah. other option. Yeah. Yeah. And now it doesn't Damn. matter what you do, you're gonna get dominated. Okay, so obviously Michael is not pleased with the situation, but it's far, far from over. All six scoring cards have been played. Southeast Asia is the only scoring card left uh, before the turn seven reshuffle. But the board is still, I mean. I mean, you got, you have Europe, Asia, and Middle East. Yeah, I mean, okay, being realistic here, uh, he has, he's dominating three regions and he's dominating, well, dominating, has more points on, on uh, Southeast Asia. And he's getting dominated, maybe control in South Africa. He'll have opportunities to break one of the, and he's getting. Like, it's shaping up to be a really good game. That, that, that's what I would say. I think it's a great situation. Yeah, I, I oh, think... He's going to take uh, Canada at some point. The NORAD is still active. Okay. It's been that's... active since turn four. Yep, he hasn't filled it up. Yeah, and he has Quagmire in hand, so that's a good opportunity to uh, space it. Yep. Space yeah. Quagmire and, uh, mm, and uh... enjoy NORAD until maybe turn 10. Yep. Oh, never mind. You can't space Quagmire. Yep, he's only three ups now. Okay, so he gets yeah. a China car. That was like instantaneous. He he didn't even think about it. I mean, the he doesn't. Have, yeah, he doesn't have. Well, I mean, he could have done Panama Canal and get either Panama or Venezuela. Our man in Tehran gets rid of Arab Israeli. Do you discard Brush War here? Or do you keep it? I mean, what are the targets here that that Thailand. could be dangerous for him? Thailand. 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 Yep. However, on the flip side, it might be one of his only shots to get back into South America. <sighs> South America is going to be tough, man. It's going to be at 33%. And I he's, think he's keeping yeah, away a 50-50 shot in Thailand. I don't know. It's a tough tough decision. I think you discard it. and I think, I, I you, think you discard it Thailand. too. Yeah, because Southeast Asia scoring... Because Thailand counts for so much. I mean, Asia scoring is going to come back. Uh, Southeast Asia is still to come out. Yep. I think keeping Asia is, is key for his victory, his path to victory, and one he's, he's one brush word away. Oh, he keeps it in. Okay, he takes the risk. Let's see if he pays out. Yeah. I guess he's thinking, I mean, it's a 50% chance that, that he gets first it. Of all, yeah, that he gets it. And then even on top of that, there's a 50% chance that Matthew succeeds, right? So it's not the end of the world. Okay, so what is he going to do? He's going to try to realign Zaire. With the China car. It's kind of an interesting play. Real it's only four, right? Okay. So at least he oh. gets it with the last one. That's good. Okay, so he... That's the problem with Africa. It's like so cool about... It's so easy to go come back in that region. Yeah. Okay, so he's going now for... For sure. Oh, I he's think... Uh, I think Matthew will flip with a three ops. Yeah. That, that's what he should do because he's got to know that... Uh, that Michael's low on ops. If I were Michael, I would I would have thought about uh, cooing Cameroon back. Yeah, he's flipping. And he's not gonna have a flip back because of that. He can't. He's, he's purged. Yeah. So we see puppet governments: Paraguay, Peru, Sudan, maybe. Mm. Or Saharan states is a good play. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably I like better. that. You Threaten the realignment and you threaten taking Argentina at the same time. Oh, he coos. What? He's gonna try another realignment there. Yeah. This this one's much better because you already have one off there. So you just yeah. fill it straight up. It's, it's more risky too, right? But this is gonna be painful because he's going to have to event decolonization. He can't. He can't event Quagmire. He doesn't have any cards to discard. He could get stuck really badly. So he's going to have to event Deco. I mean, he could play it on the last AR and hopefully he oh, can wait. get rid no, of no. the next he, uh, Sorry, my bad. He played the China card. So he can hold two cards. So he'll hold, oh, that's hold true. Deco that's and true. Quagmire. Yeah. What did, oh, thank uh, you for the happen? follow. Um, so yeah, he'll probably hold Quagmire and Deco, play the rest. The Portuguese Empire is not a really big problem because he can overprotect. Yep. 
Yeah, you gotta retake. But the problem Although is the flip, right? With Matthew can take it with a three or four up if he has it. What a comeback by Matthew. Yep. Wow. The AR6 is probably gonna be Panama Canal, right? I mean, AR7. Yep. That's a that's an amazing AR7 play. Or or is there a good salt target? I don't know. Green, green seals. I ABM. Uh, yeah. Green says is good too. Yep. Yeah. So that's... he events Panama a turn early, so he's probably wants to pull something back with salt. I don't know what ABM has ABM. No, have we? Yeah, ABM has been played. Maybe ABM. Oh, maybe is he, maybe he's gonna fill Canada so he can flip uh, Venezuela next turn. Oh, that's also possible. Yeah, but then I feel like he would have filled Canada first. And first, yeah. Second. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, so arms oh, for influence. Whoa. Which is three VPs, but yep. he's rather have oh, his three okay. VPs. Okay. So he's salt, and he definitely already has a target he, chosen yeah. out. Yeah, he knows what he's looking for. Yeah, yeah, grain sales. Grain sales. Okay. Okay, I'm down with that. Okay, he probably wants to get Africa back. Most likely. I think influence. Okay, he's thinking about the NORAD decision instead. I, I like this, but then I, I feel like you should have filled Canada first and then played yep. Panama. I agree like, with you. I it. think your order order is important sometimes. Because yeah. The people of the world oh my god, so that another it? tough hand. But at least it has a lot of force. No, no, this is... I mean, it's tough, but it's also good because that it gives you Middle East domination, potentially. Um, one small step gives you the discard ability, which is really strong right now. You can get rid of decoy. Oh, and gives you the VPs as well, right? No, uh, VPs, there are no VPs. No. There are no VPs on that square, but the one ahead of it is four. So. Yeah, I mean the the one that you're gonna go through, but that one doesn't have for the second, right? Yeah. Oh, I never remember. Hand. Do you get only for the second one, or do you get for both? You only get the second one. Okay, so then never mind. Sorry, guys. It's a guys. tough hand because he's got to deal with. Deco, Quagmire, We Will Bury You, Muslim Revolution, Liberation Theology, and now Socialist Governments as well. Actually, one, two, three, four. Okay, no. So it doesn't flip the domination, but it does stop it. Okay, so do you space Quagmire here, right? And just hold We Will Bury You to space next turn, and in the case that you get Actually, to the. Actually, I don't know. I think. I don't know, it's tough. I, you might consider eventing Quagmire to get rid of... Oh, but then you lose Norad, huh? Yeah, you just know, make tough, a play uh, for Norad. It doesn't make sense to get rid of it. Situation. Okay, so now... He cruise Angola and over it, and he will lose... Well, yeah, Panama... He's gonna go for Panama. Panama. But he doesn't have anything to take it back with. What does he play? There's no good option here. Yep, that is right. I mean, he can do... Muslim Revolution, but then he cannot. No, no. he has Middle East scoring. I yeah, don't think he Muslim has to. Revolution is feasible. And we hope around the world. This is a very tough hand to play. That goal will be achieved. He yeah. can't even realistically compete for uh, for domination in Middle East because he again, he could he because he can take Jordan. But he and... doesn't have any, he doesn't have any ops. Where are the ops to take Jordan? He has well, zero. Well, he could op. do one one small step. It's basically. It's the only free ops that he has. But I think he wants to event. I think he should be eventing one small step here. I like the France play. I said that I missed socialist governments with headlines. You have to take care of it. Yeah, so I think that's probably that. better. Just repair there. You will have three, three more to to play with. This is such a sticky situation for Michael. Yeah. He could actually he put it in Jordan. Have... Um, get Sadat and immediately get immediately scoring. That's that's interesting. I think that might be possible because you will have four and three, and he will have zero. He only have Lebanon. But then you risk uh, you risk Matthew just taking France, right? Oh my God, he's oh, he going for the Quagmire. Quagmire. Okay, he wanna get yeah. rid of that decal. Thing is, yeah. he's he's been stacking those cards, right? Like he had already two reds. In his hand uh, from the previous turn. Yeah, that's it's. There's no good option here. Yeah, it's, no tough. it's a tough hand. It's a very tough hand. I still don't know. I, I yeah. I, I think that taking Jordan is it, telegraphing too much. But facing Quagmire is the right play. Of if there was no Norad in play, but Norad I think is worth. 
it's worth just you know just taking the hit here or no he doesn't think so because there's no point in this because now if uh, if matthew has if matthew does have europe dominate europe uh scoring he can just you know break and then play because he has back-to-back -back ars yep okay he's uh, going he's so indecisive Except for jordan. He jordan and he plays one small step oh no it's a really tough. He's in a really tough spot right now. I, I, I don't like the Quagmire play at all. I wouldn't. Is that all diplomacy in play? Oh yes, it is. Yeah, that, that that's that's what I was saying. Like he can get just like four, five BPs there. No, he gets domination and he and three. I he'll get four three. BPs from uh, Middle East once he takes. Uh... No, he'll get five. Yeah, because he, he discounts yeah. Saudi Arabia if he takes Egypt. Yeah, yeah. correct. And he only and uh, Matteo will always only get presents for Lebanon. So he does play Quagmire. Uh, I would expect Decol is the first to go. I I really think uh, I think Michael should seriously consider eventing one small step because Star Wars like Defcon is still a very viable way for him to win, and Star Wars is a Defcon suicide card with not too many options for Matthew. So, so you think that, oh yeah, because, so he can discard? Okay, I get you. Yeah, I, I like the one small step event. Space's nuclear test ban? Oh, he's looking for that. Okay, he, so he now really he has to. to. Effect, but now he has to event now he one has small to. step. That's such a Big. weird play though. I mean, he might have he might have some cards or suicide. Uh, Voice, of, Voice of America, I think, is what he wants to get rid of, right? Correct me if That's, I'm wrong. Yeah, the, he's holding yet. that for like three turns already. Right? Wasn't it a turn five? Turn five that we saw yeah. his hand? Yes. Oh, so Brushwar does come back to bite uh bite Michael. What did he crash? The He took Libya. Oh. So and that... he's actually going to prevent the domination. Wow. That is brutal. Brutal. I think the NORAD play in Jordan just kind of tipped it off. Like, you know, he's yeah. got to have it. Uh, yeah, it was a kind of telegraph in it, honestly. Like, there is no no reason why would you put one in Jordan if you don't have the score in there. Yeah, just South African was just brutal. Because Michael's got no ops to do anything. Muslim Revolution. Yeah, he's got to play one small step. And he's got to hope to space we will bury you for the four off. But just brutal. And then he got to get rid of... Uh, liberation. Hopefully. However, however, if he hey, Nixon, okay, 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 that's that's so that's that's big, that's huge yeah. because that puts war games possibilities up on the board. That puts uh, Star Wars as a Defcon suicide card for Matthew, um, yeah. and a, and a great card for. Uh, Oh, five-year plan. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. yes. I mean, that's still good. You know. Oh yes. Much better. Much better to see that than Aegis scoring, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's gonna be but, repaired, but he has. Yeah. He already has that there, so he can maybe flip. You know, do some. And then what do you do? AR seven. I guess you event liberation and. I think you can Mexico. play Muslim now. It's been already. Oh, he's gonna do liberation. Yeah, He's gonna give him because, access to Mexico? Because, I, oh, he wants to save Muslim Revolution to space next turn and go for the space station. Okay. Oh, that's cool. If we get a space station, that, that's gonna be sick. I've never seen anyone get to the end of the space race. I've, I've never seen done it, it like myself. Once or twice. I've never gotten it myself either. He coos instead of playing yeah, into Mexico. Two I BPs. find that. I think that. Oh, right. Milops. Yeah, okay, that's a good play. That, that's a correct okay. play for sure. Okay, we see oh, Junta. This is this could be his saving grace to get that important presence in South America and prevent the control. Oh, oh we see nuclear subs in Africa scoring. And he gets Star Wars. So uh, if maybe he can get Brass War. Okay. Uh, so the it's not the hand is not high on ops, but it's still a great hand. It's, I think. Yeah, it's just it's, yeah. Okay. Oh, your scoring comes out. That sucks. That, that, that's tough. That's very tough. Oh my oh, god. Oh man. I, I'm like physically wincing right now. <laughs> yeah. Man. Too. 
That 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 hurts, man. My Gogoro hurts okay. right now. <laughs> but now Matthew, okay, what does he do? He can he needs five ops, right? Because to fill Chile, Argentina, and Mexico. I think he fills Mexico and Argentina and just ignores Chile. Oh, he only has two ops. Ooh. He might have Maybe a low signaling. up hand. Yeah, signaling a low up hand. That's weird too. Chile and uh Okay, that's so kind of he's odd. Okay, gi giving zero fucks. He's gonna take Argentina and gonna set up the realignment. That's but that's gonna give an easy coup there, and then it's gonna be hard to. Mm. Well, if he coups, then he can just play a three up. Oh, he doesn't even have a three up. Eh? Well, NATO's in effect. So, oh, special relationship would have been an amazing headline here. He can always Star Wars and use the uh, use Brush War to get that. But I would like to see a Star Wars Brush War on maybe. Venezuela or maybe uh, yeah I think Venezuela is better than Brazil mm -hmm. but you can get realized maybe Brazil is better oh uh, wait you, you cannot even discard he's got, a, he's got a hold Latin American yeah he's yeah. <laughs> he needs a three yeah. right hold Latin American debt crisis and space Muslim revolution I think the space station is just so strong no, but that Africa scoring is gonna hurt like a like a truck man well, he invented nuclear subs right now, right? So he can, yeah. if he can succeed on his, if he can take the three, oh, oh terrorism. boy, terrorism, if he okay, Africa, okay, oh, okay, fair enough. That's perfect. That is yep. perfect fair for uh, for Matthew. He's perfectly fine with that. So Actually, go. that's a that's a good thing. Yep. He's, he's oh like, ooh, boy, he has to roll arm. better on his coups. Come on, man. Yeah, it's been a tough, some tough rolls for. But although I feel like he hasn't cooed very much at all over the course of the game. He hasn't uh, had the opportunity, right? Like they control that uh, the Soviets have yeah. done over the first AR has been. Man, this quite sucks strong. because now what? What do you coo it? You coo it, Yuri and Samantha, I guess. But I mean, no, you can't do special relationship, right? There is no. Na oh, there is NATO. No, you have to play. Yeah, like two I, I feel like you should play it and uh, threaten war games, right? Oh man, another tough hand. Because what do you do now? He has to do that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the right play. But what are you gonna do in Africa? Uh, you can do. You can get back. Um, what's okay, he's looking. He's looking yeah. for a Star Wars play. I yeah. think you have to play Star Wars here. Brass oh. War. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is cl so clutch. It's so, so clutch. clutch. Wow. Yeah, that one is South South Africa, and you can. You, He's gonna overprotect it, but now he's uh, gonna give you another chance. Yeah, okay. you get the domination. Oof. Oof, that is. A and he sad cannot get. Relief. He cannot get control, right? He only can only put two points, so he will get Sayer and uh, so Algeria. Zaire, oh my God! Jesus okay, Christ, will, man! And it doesn't work out. I think. I think you might just play. No, I think you coo you coo Zaire with Yuri and Samantha. I think. Oh, no. okay. He doesn't get greedy. Maybe I was getting greedy by thinking of another two. Honestly, I wanted to see that that Star Wars in play, but maybe he wants to keep it for the next turn. Realignment where? Oh, Argentina. Uh oh. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's not bueno. Okay, it's 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 not bad. Although it's not too bad. It could have been worse. Yeah. It could have been worse. Gonna, yeah. He's just gonna play two in both. Yeah. If you can't take Paraguay, then I think taking two, putting two in is best and make him realign again. So what what does Matthew have? We know he has Voice of America. Does he have anything else that we know for sure he has? Voice of America is the only thing that comes to my head right now. What event, the important event we haven't seen from the mid war? Oh, okay. I was I was okay. like, what the heck is going on for a second? Then I forgot about um. Uh, uh, subs. Sub, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's uh, kind of odd. I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, so obviously you return Voice of America for sure. But yeah. you event Voice of America. You want you want him to be bothering the hand, right? No, I think I think you give Voice of America back. But uh, if you play it, what do you do know. with it? You maybe get a chance to get back in, in South in South America. Do you though? Because I remember Matthew still gets the two ops after. Oh, mm. well, he he gets only two ops, right? You can get two out of Brazil, two out of. He also. Uh, it's Venezuela. kind of funny, but he he could go for a back-to-back -back Voice of America because he can just Star Wars Voice of America yep. right back. Okay, let's see what he does. I don't like. I don't like the Chile. Chile is like 
high no, uh, stability. I, yeah, because Brazil might be a bit better, but Brazil you can get realigned, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're easy. right. So I understand Chile. Seagull's influence with grain seals, Soviet. Okay. Central America looking strong. Oh, oh my god, you there you go. Vacation. First and time in you... stream that we see a... Uh, um, uh, this is exciting. Yep. A space race completed. Okay, and I know which card uh, which card Michael is praying for, I which is the War Games. Another sad, bizarre yep. chapter in human history was last he gets some BPs with Star Wars and... Are being written. No War Games. No, no War Games. But, but... A good Bear man. Trap, Bear, Chernobyl. Bear Trap, Arms Race, Ooh, Chernobyl. Star Wars, he still has. Chernobyl, Chernobyl. He has, does he have... Maybe, maybe oh, Central no. America? He had... Um, oh. I mean, Chernobyl will allow him to get into uh, uh, Poland, but he needs, to, he needs more ops to get into... Like, it's speculative. I don't think... Michael is that far behind that he needs to rely on Chernobyl. But Central America is so scary, man. Central America is so yeah. scary right now. He I has Glasnost too, which is a great hand for the US. Yeah, that, that's an ABM treaty. Yep. Oh, and it's a ABM treaty. With ABM, treaty. <laughs> but, uh, ABM treaty is better than a uh, ABM treaty for two BPs. Uh, Thailand, probably. Yep. He's the best, or, best tag Argentina or, for the control. No, Tyler. Oh, a five. That's that's crushing. That that's crushing for Michael. Okay, now he has he has in bear trap, so he got some. He can play glass now and flip it in two turns. Oh my god, he has to get out of it. <laughs> he got out of it. What did he? Wait, why did he give away defectors? Oh right, because Voice of America is gone. Oh nice, oh my god. very nice, okay. very nice, very nice. You do give up an Argentina coup, but you have it overprotected, so it's not a big deal. Yep. Hopefully, you would hope it's not a big deal. That's a nice play. Yep. I was thinking maybe I'm race, but no, he there's no way. I mean, he could get one more up, but mm, Opec yeah. is just Opec is, Opec is four BPs. Papa government oh, yeah. is useless at this point. Opec, you probably hold here, I think, right? Yeah, you discard it. Yeah, you don't probably don't want to play that. Or or you play it early and take advantage of your eight ARs because you do have the space station, right? Uh, absolutely, you have OPEC, uh, sorry, OPEC, uh, North Sea Oil. You can, play for, you can play it at three VPs, right? Because uh, you can play it at three VPs because you can break one. I think I think you should hold OPEC and wait. Maybe uh, maybe Matthew plays North Sea Oil, who knows? Mm, that's possible. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like such a bad card to play because, uh, because he's getting eight ARs anyways. <laughs> It's not like North Sea Oil gives him nine. What, a, what about breaking on the uh, Pola on the last AR and holding Chernobyl for the last for the next turn and headlining it on Europe? That's interesting. That's an interesting idea. Uh, okay. Or actually, yeah. Maybe why not hold Chernobyl and Star Wars for AR seven and eight? No, that doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know what the play is. No, you have to play Chernobyl the next turn. Yeah, exactly. You'll have to play Chernobyl. Or maybe AR7 just play, sh play Star is, Wars for is something. Is it optional? The last AR, you have to play it. It's optional. It's optional. Okay. So then you can yeah. just... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just yeah, thinking so here much, what's a path. So much, of, so much of the game is going to depend on which scoring comes out in turn, uh, in turn, in turn 10. 10. Like... The difference between Central America versus Europe is 15 VP straight up. Like it's. Yep. That Central America is okay. gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. So if he does play OPEC. I think if we're gonna go. If we're gonna go one Venezuela, might as well go two. Oh, okay. Okay, straight. that's good but... because he th he might threaten the the realignment in Chile, which he needs desperately. He wants to get the South America under control. Oh, event event he events Reagan bombs Libya for one VP. I think mm. he should try a coup somewhere and maybe. Yeah. Oh wait, he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, he is trying a coup, and maybe he try to get away with a three VP arms race. Guatemala is not a bad target, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not a great result, but now you coup again, and if you hope for a five or a six, and you can take back Mexico because Central America is a big problem right now. Yep. 
It's a... Uh... Oh, Central America score in there, yo. 10 BPs. And, and now, OPEC is all, all of a sudden is a really scary card. Okay, nice. Plays Arms Race. Because uh, War Games is on, is on deck now. Yep, I don't think he can afford to play that OPEC. Because if he has, if he has, he's holding war games right now. Ooh, okay. I think you just I give think up Chernobyl. You don't give him OPEC here. I think he's looking for war games with Missy Lambi, right? With OPEC. Well, now he has to play Missile Envy, and if Matthew has war games, he can end the game in a tie in advance because he's a higher seed, so he'll go ahead in a tie. <laughs> if Matthew. Uh... I wonder right, if Matty knows that, that he can, he can advance with right, the but tie. but doesn't the game uh, automatically give the, uh, a, a loss to the player that play war games? Right, but the ITSL rules, so the tournament rules are that the player who triggers a tie... Um, no, not the player who triggers a tie, sorry. The ITSL rules are that if there's a tie in the game, uh, the higher seed advances. Okay. And Matthew is the higher seed. I just okay, so he doesn't either he doesn't have war games or he doesn't know about this rule. Okay, so Shinobu free alignment, so I don't think he has any okay. designs on a on a Europe play. Could he try maybe a realignment? Oof, Argentina's kinda risky. I would do it on maybe Brazil or Argentina. Well Brazil probably. Yeah, it's still gonna come down to the wire because okay, it does go Brazil. Because if you look at the regions now, South America, South America is even, and it's Europe and Asia versus Middle East, Africa, Central America. Okay, like a war. Oh, fails by one. Okay, so South okay. America is okay. safe for now. Yeah. We'll, yeah. He'll have to wear protect, right? Yeah, he has to wear protect if he doesn't want to get four two. Well, I mean, turn 10 is going to be a nightmare for Matthew because, oh, Iran hostage crisis. We all we already saw terrorism, though, right? Yep. Do you pass? Yeah, Okay. Pass. So that's Star Wars. He, he's going to pull ABM, probably. For sure, he's thinking about... Okay. Okay. Not he saved himself hand. by that last play on, on South Not America. Not the best hand. I would go probably Duck and Cover and then Star Wars ABM for a, a coup in Mexico, probably. Duck and Cover is slightly risky because I think We Will Bury You is still around, right? We Will Bury You... Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. What about... Oh, man. Oh. What about East European Unrest headline? Yeah, I would think maybe maybe Solidarity, even. Solidarity just well, yeah. And then... Oh, if he had held Chernobyl, does he? I think yeah. you have a. I, I think he had a chance here, but he couldn't hold Chernobyl and Star Wars, so it might yeah. not have worked. Yeah, he had to choose there. But honestly, I yeah. would have. I probably would have played Star Wars last turn on the and pulled that ABM or, or maybe, um, Brass War. But Brass War Angola is is really good. It's a sixty. It's a fifty-fifty. Angola. Sorry, Angola, uh, Algeria. Algeria. But you still, you still, no, you still behind now. Then maybe Brazil, fifty-fifty for the domination there. Yeah, I would think Brazil, maybe Panama, duck and cover. Ooh, that's okay. a risky card, but it works yeah. out. He gets the reformer, and he really now he really hopes that uh, Matthew doesn't have um, Europe scoring because Matthew can force. A domination for himself. Yep. yep, he could break. He could well, break Canada, he... UK, France, Spain, Greece, and West Germany. Wait, not Greece, but okay. No, he doesn't have. He doesn't have Europe scoring. The flower power. Just, He's uh, gonna flip. Just, just flip of France, which is a. Uh... He's preparing for the. Well, he's not gonna get domination there, right? He's. He does have domination right now. He probably won't end up with it, but just the denial of domination makes this very tough to play for Michael. Like, what's he supposed to do? I mean, he can't respond with East European unrest and, and screw him on uh, that. He could respond with East European unrest. Well, but he cannot break East Germany, right? So yeah, maybe it's also, not worth it's it. a, I mean, he has a kind of a tough hand because, oh, Iran, playing Iran-Contra scandal. 
for on the on Turn Chan when the real elements are the the clutch. Okay. I mean, he kind of have to, right? I guess he. Uh, I guess he figures like, what are the targets? South Africa. It's not that bad. There, he probably no wants to uh, Aldrich uh, perishing. He doesn't have any four up to break stuff. On, on he doesn't have the China card for the last AR. Yeah, it's it's. I, I I'm thinking probably Star Wars Voice of America. Yeah. Star Wars Voice of America. Seven. But yeah. I don't think that. I I don't know if that'll be enough to get him out of this mess. There is yeah. some there is some love on Twitch chat to for Michael. Like he's having a, a rough rough game. He is having a rough game. Uh, but what a what an incredible display here by Matthew to come back the way he did. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's not over yet. We shouldn't talk like it's over yet. There's still yeah. a ways to go. Um, but it's not looking good for Michael. Okay, could that signal maybe uh uh Indo Pak? Are you trying to Indo Pak Pakistan? Uh, War games, okay. I I wonder, did he hold that over from last turn and just just did he not know? I don't know. We gotta ask him after oh, the game. Sure, I'm very curious because the tournament rules do state that a tie the higher. higher I actually haven't advantage. been haven't been writing down uh, my questions for for them. Uh, we'll come up with something. Well, we sure. I want to ask him about the um, Quackmire play, and we have to ask uh, about the War Games possibility and if he saw the play to get the 20 BPs on turn four, turn five. But it it wasn't gonna work because he would need North Sea Oil gets played. US may play eight cards. I mean that's a free three ops right there, and yep. he's fighting hard for India. Yeah, I don't think the 20 VPs would have realistically worked. No, but... <laughs> but you have to see it's the to think about. So he gives him D style. I don't, I don't understand why... Yeah, because he's just going to place two into India and take India, which kind of sucks here. He can take India and take, like, Spain. And you're chilling, right? Like, that's... Actually, my guess here is two India, two Spain. I think that's the play to India to Spain hmm. and you pull from wherever you can pull from you could probably even pull all four from West Germany honestly that's probably an option this late in the game uh, you could pull from you could I pull mean, from Vietnam and Burma these countries don't matter anymore actually Burma might matter you can pull from Vietnam you could pull from Southeast African states you have a lot of options yeah you have you have fuel in in, in Africa yeah, you have fuel in Central America. You basically controlling all there, so you can maybe move Ch uh, Tahiti. Colombia, Colombia is at six. Colombia at um, six. Finland is the the Finland. the D style, style country. Yeah, always D style nice. You can also move UK. I don't think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what he wants to do. Tunisia is protecting from realignment, but he already has a minus one, so maybe you can move that one. For sure, Africa sounds like a... Yep. Two from... I saw two from Colombia, one from Finland, the other one I didn't see it, but I think it was something somewhere Africa. He's got to think about over-controlling uh, Cuba eventually, because that's an easy break to uh, break uh, control, control for, yep. uh, for Michael. Over-controlling Cuba... Solidarity He's... for influence. Wow, you got to vent it here, no? I don't know. I guess I see the argument because it's only one VP potentially, because he's not dominating anyways. Oh, but he could be. Uh... He could pull out a bunch of ops and try to dominate. Yeah, which is I don't know. He has Star Wars after all, and I don't know. Star Wars Voice of America. You can get domination in South America. You can break Central America. He's got a coup too with something. He's got a coup with something too. Yep, that's two BPs. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's what this uh, is too. Like solidarity. Oh, well, you can coup with Eldritch James. No, you can't because then you would have to play Star Wars AR six. Oh wait. You have two ARs. Oh, you, you can, can. Star Wars yeah, AR seven yeah, and yeah, then play yeah. South America scoring for domination. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So because you can play South America empty right now. And then events, yeah, yeah, that works. Event Star Wars AR7 and play Alder James AR8. 
I don't know. He can pull from Lebanon, Cuba, Brazil. Oh, but the problem is if you... Oh. Okay, that, that doesn't matter. Okay, That's so right. now he has to play Star Wars now. Yeah. No, no, he plays South America scoring now. For MT, and then he... Um... And, yeah, and then he plays Star Wars, AR7, Aldrich... Aims, AR8. Yeah, yeah, that's a play. I think... What are you getting from Star Wars? Uh, Voice of America? Yeah, I think you got a Voice of America. Again, Voice of America, Cuba, Brazil... Lebanon is two VPs. He and... could also... He's controlling three... He's controlling three as well. He could take ABM, play for play for ops, and put oh no, but he has to coup. He's gonna lose two BPs right now if he doesn't Oh he can coup with Elder James, so it's fine. Yeah, he could with Elder James. Or he has to decide He can do ABM the math right now. Play for okay. ops and break to break Venezuela. Oh no, he has to do way too. No, he that, that doesn't work. Yeah, so I think VOA would have to go Venezuela, Brazil, Cuba, and Lebanon. I think that's the most he can get out of it. I could be mistaken. I don't know. That's what I see right off the top of my head. You break Central America control, uh, you get domination in South America at 7 VPs, and, uh, and Middle East you break domination. But I still don't think he gives him the win. I mean, basically, Central America is going to cancel out with South America with the VOA. Uh, if he breaks Cuba. Also, Matthew still has a play here. He has You're an in a van. Oh, well, that's a big card. So he's yeah. going Cuba, Venezuela, and Brazil. Ah. Of course. Of course he does. Uh, of course. I don't think there's much he can do here. I think he might actually have to consider... ABM coup? Not a coup, maybe ABM realignment and hope for six ones everywhere. I don't know, is that his only no, option? Okay, he's going for he's going for VOA. Yeah, he uh, probably VOA is smarter. You can get Asia domination by dropping two out of India, right? You drop two out of India, and then you drop two out of Venezuela and coup Colombia with Aldrich Ames, but I still don't think that gives it to you. Lebanon. So he domin oof, he's again dominated Middle East and Africa. This is this is a tough. He has to make a lot of math, and I don't even think that's gonna work out. I, I I don't know if it's possible. I think no matter what, he needs realignments with Aldrich Ames, not cooing, even though it means giving up two VPs. Because otherwise, I don't think it's possible. Two from Cuba and two from India. Okay. And then coup with Aldrich with... James, Venezuela, or Brazil, and hope that you can. Get you can't coup. You can't coup the battleground. Oh, that's true. Yeah. If he does your way, no, you have to realign, right? But it, that's crazy. Okay. Like it's never gonna happen. You would just have to hope for it because the alternative is the alternative is a guaranteed loss, right? So you might as well. What about taking one out, taking two out of Venezuela and try to flipping with all these aims? I think here you take two out of India for sure, no matter yeah. what. Yeah, but that's gives domination. Two out of Cuba, I don't know. I don't know about How that. many points is Cuba, the difference between? Because Cuba and Mexico are more easily realigned. Like you have yeah. higher odds there of realigning, even against the odds, it's still still. Yeah, you have a plus one there. Yeah. Yeah. At least you have adjacency. Oh, Algeria. He can't break Africa. No, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, l let's count it up. So Middle East is. One, two, three, four, one the other way, three VPs. Middle East he is has five. 13 seconds. Did they, did they agree on... They did agree 60 minutes, but also Matthew gave uh, Michael an extra five minutes because um, he, they, he started a bit late because okay. uh, Matthew activated the game early. So he's good on time. All right, Middle East is five. Europe is one, that's six. Africa is six, that's 12. Uh, Central America is... I don't even know. Six. Central America is 18. 11 total if you control him. Central America is 10. Central America is 10? Okay. And the domination is 3. But then you've got 3 battlegrounds and no presence for the US. So I think it's 6 now for uh, 
for Matthew. <laughs> Dude, Chad is a uh, wow, full know. space racetrack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the games where I would, you know, face on uh, Twitch. Yeah, pen and paper for final scoring. I don't know if it's possible. Unfortunately for Michael, I don't think it's possible. I just think he's too far behind. Where did he go? Only one from India, one from Lebanon, and two from Cuba. Why only one from India? He's probably going to okay. break it. Is there any other card here that's better for him? Maybe what did, tear down what did the, he take the other one? Down, he, he could go tear down this wall and take Europe domination, but I don't know if that's worth it. Kind of risky. And you ro you very, depending on the rolls. Not only that, but you have a minus one. Minus... Yeah, you have you have a minus two. But I mean, so you break East Germany with tear down this wall and, and the realignment, and all all you need to do is break his control in France. Oh, but the realignment is actually at zero because of Iran Contra, right? It's to be one for one for having more in France. Okay, see, one. I see what you mean. What is one for having more in France? One for the for Iran Contra. And you have three against, One, right? But you have Algeria as well. Okay, that's right. So it's uh, it'll, it'll be, be even. It'll be even. Yep. So it's not. Yeah, I think I, I think Voice of America is probably the better. Oh. What can he do here? Like I honestly don't know, man. Like he saw India, he he knows. I don't know why. He... I don't know why he's only going one in India. Is he hoping to place influence with Aldrich Ames? That that doesn't make sense either to me. No. I think I think you got to realign with Aldrich Ames. I'm still, I still firmly believe that that's a play, even though it's against the odds. Like yeah, you might as well. At this point, yeah. At this point, you don't have the odds are not with you. I do not think he can guarantee a win here in any whatever he does. Junta to no. and realign, realign a minus one or realign a. Oh, yeah. Actually, Iran Contra really kind of screwed him here because even the realignments are just so, like, such a small chance. We're looking. Yeah. Brushwork could flip one region, but the one region is not enough for him. Yeah, he's got a VOA. Yeah. I think that much is clear. Because VOA straight up, Central America goes from 10 to 6. Okay, so that's 4 VPs. And Asia goes from 0 to 5. So that's 5 VPs, right? So VOA straight up is 9 VPs. Yep. And, and, and what then do you, do you with the other one? I don't know what you do with Aldrich then. There's nothing good to do with Aldrich. What like, do you, what do you think? Is... He's VOAing. Okay. What I mean is to, to, you cannot dominate South America without doing a double play because he has Uruguay, right? I think. Okay. And. And oh, Lebanon. Is, oh, he did it. He punched it in. Uh, he, he's taking it. I don't. Yeah, he's accepting the loss, I think. Yeah, Czechoslovakia. That's mm -hmm. GG's. Oh. Yeah, two there, 15. He was very far away. Yeah. Wow.